Hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee, and welcome back to Legacy Studio, another episode of Firmament. We finally literally forced a puzzle and got it fixed. I, I, I was just starting to understand the science behind it and thankfully just randomly clicked it into gear. I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, I know you guys are too. <laughs> Let's get into the game here in just a we second, but of course a humongous thank you to Tony Allen and Sean Hammond, my amazing legacy historians, and all my other amazing historians here, my Dorka historians and early access historians, who have supported this channel for a very long time as we've been playing through the Mist series. Deeply appreciate them. Let's get into the game here. We did it. We went to 115 gigawatts. Uh, 1.21 gigawatts, I believe. So we are up and running again. But what does that mean, actually? Now that we have run new acid into the pools and gotten this up to 115 uh, volts, which we've already done before. So what changed? Well, now that we have... Ooh, glitchy. Now that we've reactivated some things, hopefully we'll be able to recall our lift and go and check things out. Okay. Let's see what's going on topside. My hope is that as we get into this area over here, that we can refill some of the water into this water vat here. It mm, doesn't look right. Refill from reservoir. Down it went. Lowered the water in the reservoir in Julston. Which means... Which means, hopefully... Oh, yeah, not hopefully, certainly. We are ready, I think, to actually enter into this thing and actually enter the tower. The question is how? Now that we've lowered everything down so much. I mean, why would you put these ramps here with no way to enter it? Hmm. An interesting scenario. Um, but everything is doing good. We're powered up. We're doing good. What's the next move? Let me try approaching this from the front. And see if that does anything. Excuse me. All right. Okay, so we're going to go this way. And this way. And I think this way. Hopefully. A, a big part of me thinks we're nearing the conclusion of this puzzle, of this game. But I'm, I'm not sure. Because we still really don't know the story of what we're actually doing. What is the awakening? What is the purpose of the awakening? Oh. 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 Can I get there? Oh, I can get there. This must be it. This must be what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Get it? There we go. All right. Here we are. This looks rather familiar. Okay. Oh, man. We're already here. This is it. This is it! Oh. Well, okay, keep going, for Pete's sake. Don't spoil the moment. <laughs> we are so close to having this figured out. Oh my word. This is exciting! This is it! This is the big moment. What happens when we get all three of these warps all activated? It's going to happen right now. Here we go. In the embrace has now been awakened. Can it be true? 
I hope so. this really have gone as I planned? You have kept the mission. Now the gateway in the swan will open, and you can prepare for the assembly. Hmm. Go. Okay, great. Awesome. How do we get to the swan now? Um... Ooh. We are the keepers. Oh gosh. You were told to joyfully anticipate the arrival. Tanner and two others arrived, and we were joyful beyond measure. They were powerful. We obeyed. They knew so much, but they were not patient with us, not kind as we were. We were not used to force. We were peaceful. No, yes, that's exactly we where I were want to go. Peaceful, but we were not weak. It troubled us to serve someone as though they were greater than us. We were taught that all were equal. And then, suddenly... Oh, Marta a... killed one of them. All oh, that moment is burned in my mind. Here. Quiet, Marta. She could not talk about why. That day... Nothing was ever the same. Here we are. Turner and the other arrivers also changed. They took Marta and... <laughs> Panic engulfed the realms. There was blood. There was death. It was... I... I have no words for it. Only twelve keepers remained. Of the arrivers, only Tana remained. Hmm. I'm waiting. I don't want to jump ahead. Okay, well, I guess now I will be jumping ahead. So, um... Here we go. Boy, I'm nervous. This is it, apparently. We are right at that cusp. We are right there. Oh! And then I get a phone call right now, of course. Jess, what's up? Terrible time for a phone call, just when things were getting interesting, but here we go. All right. We're going to the swan. I do think there's going to be a puzzle to solve in the swan. And that's my assumption. But we have been slowly, apparently, opening up the swan. And we're <laughs> it's about to get real. It's about to become very, very real. What is going to happen next? I should have saved. I didn't save. I should have saved. Okay, well. This is an adventure, that's for sure. And what a wonderful game, too. What a wonderful game. This is pretty crazy. I'm trying to make sure my microphone is good on the last bit here, because I always turn it up in the edit. Nothing's changed. I know where I think I want to go. <laughs> I want to save first. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> save in game one. Yes. Okay. Here we go. I'm pretty sure that we're going to go here. Oh, actually, look at this. Whoa. Is it an elevator? Raise. It is an elevator. 
Montana was afraid, I suppose. Whoa. He became our master and ruled us with a heavy hand. We learned about masters and their weapons. We were subdued then lost and Turner rather than intent on the assembly and completing the mission became intoxicated with his power Whoa. angry god he would command and we would comply or die his every need only one of the arrivals could prepare for the assembly our mission was in peril, resting in Turner's distracted hands. I had lost hope. Okay. Here we go. Boy. Destination conveyance pod. There's only one way to go. We're going to the conveyance pod. What is a conveyance pod, you ask? That's a good question. I'd like to know that too. Oh, it's going down. This is different. Whoa. Whoa. A plan came to me. Oh, here we are. This is her. This is it. I refined it for many things. We're part of that plan. I became close to Turner. Ooh. To use him. I made a wall in my mind for my own ascent. Befriending the monster for the greater good. I learned much. I wept much. So, after many weeks, oh. I told my comrade Jacques the truth that I had learned. I knew he would be afraid. He provoked the others, and they all lashed out at me. I convinced Turner to use his weapons to force them into the deep sea. I told Tara we could wake new ones from the threshold and I would mentor them to be more compliant as his servants. Me? I gained Tanner's praise with this idea he and his trust. Right up until I sedated him and placed him in the threshold as well. Wow. And so I was alone. Until Keeping I came along. Not for days or weeks or even months, <laughs> but for years. Everyone was gone. The embrace could only be awakened, the assembly could only occur, only with the power of an arriver. But now Turner was in the deep sleep. And you will learn the truth now. The truth of sleep. The truth of the mission. The truth of keeping. That's totally... And the truth of Turner. What on Sunday? earth? In the ending. Why is that literally the face of uh, the a comedian? The keepers. The cycle of him. Keepers. You, you, like you uh, new keepers to be Jeff new Dunham. Keepers. The seven year cycle. But I will not go to sleep. I will this guy. I will not. I know some sleep. of these faces.
Weird. Oh. LTD AGU. So what did they do? AI some faces together from people that are from YouTube or something? I mean, come on, that's totally Jeff Dunham. And that is, I, I, I forget who that is, but I recognize that face. Some of these might be the developers of the game. Artilus Inaugural Keepers of 1910. Okay, oh. Um. Oh no. Again? Really? Okay. This is worth saving. We'll save this in game two just in case. Because I know where I'm going to go, but I'm going to go check this out. Interesting. Eternally locked. Oh, externally locked. <laughs> okay. Um, that was funny. <laughs> Timbo needs to learn how to read. <laughs> well done. Well done, Lee. Well done. All right. We're donning on our full work with a cavitation hammer. This is interesting. Whoa. And now, you have experienced the revelation that I had. The grand realms, I thought were everything or nothing but firmament, structures, but yet, they held everything dear to me, except my old memories. I have kept those. Are we on... in space? We're in outer space. I was like... Wow! This got... very big. Crazy. And beautiful. I mean, crazy awesome design. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. So the swan is a spaceship. I would assume. Uh, I don't assume. That it's, it's obvious. This is a spaceship. I guess. But... Crazy. Alright. Do I go down here? Okay. Unlock. Coupling module lock. Two. Can't unlock it. So what are we trying to do? Release it? Why would we want to release it? Unless we're like trying to destroy everything, maybe. But... So this is the elevator from the opposite side. Definitely confused. 
And it looks like we can't go any lower or any higher. There's only one module there that we can't do anything with. And we can't go any higher either. Can you imagine the first time I saw such a sight? Yeah, I'm doing that right right now. I cannot describe what happened to my body. I did not think Tanner would lie, but there's no preparation to face what one has never contemplated, never imagined. I was distraught and opened and offended and free. I, I do not have words to describe to you. And now, I've returned here many times. And still, I do not know where the firmament ends. Can we ever? Well, I have a cavitation hammer. It doesn't seem to work. So, it says I have a cavitation hammer, and the only thing I could do was on the floor down. So, let me go look at this one more time. Sound that zuzzing that we're walking by is annoying. If I go slower, it goes slower. So let me check this one more time. option there is. R. Cavitation hammer. Nothing. Okay, so I'm clueless. There's more to do elsewhere, apparently and not here, so maybe back in the swan. That would make sense, actually. I bet you if we go back in the swan right now, there's going to be something back there. This was just to kind of awaken us a little bit and get us feeling a little freaky. So far, so good. <laughs> Definitely freaky. So we'll go back inside the swan. There's, there's nothing here, right? Okay. Okay. And let's go back in here. Oh, it rotates. It rotates. All right. So now what? Do we, what now? Now what? So we've already checked out all this because I got ahead of myself, I guess. So what am I supposed to do now? Do I go back to the swan? Maybe. I mean, technically, I'm in the swan. Technically, I'm, I've been in the swan this whole time. Have I, though? Maybe I haven't, 
maybe the realms are separate places, separate locations. I just find it interesting how we actually move in this situation. Unlike the other ones, which seemed more like a magical transport, but maybe that's the point. Because there's no way that the worlds that I experienced could fit into this right? Or did she already say that and I missed it? Or ADHD didn't understand it? <laughs> Very likely. It's like we're rolling through a, uh... Hmm. The puzzle is not complete, that is for sure. that. So, let's take a look. Okay. So my theory is we're about to see some stuff as soon as we get back. I think we're going to see some stuff here. Like this, for instance. This is exactly what I was wondering about. But still, no... So nothing has changed. I'm still the only person? I would assume so, actually. Hmm. I'm very confused. So when you're in the swan, you're on a spaceship in the middle of nowhere. So you are keeping the firmament, wherever the firmaments are. Hmm. And you are preparing, you are the arrival, one of the arrivals. Very confusing. And that's the end of the game. <laughs> that's all there is to it. There's nothing else. Oh, wait a minute. Is this what I missed? Coupling module hatch one. So that would mean down here. I mean, yeah, it feels like a spaceship, but it make a bit of sense. Apparently a very old one. Well, considering it comes back from 1910. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, another one? Whoa. <laughs> this is getting freaky. Dude. The music got so weird and so good.
Realm Embrace Sequence Complete. Whoa. Is that our ship? It must be our ship. Oh! Show me that again. Interesting. So that's what we just did by bringing the three together. <gasps> no. Who's in these? Are you in one of these? And then why are there only three? Is there one missing? No. Okay, well... Whoa! This is getting trippy! Sheesh! Okay. Are these the different firmaments? Scanning. Biosignature confirmed. Turner, Lewis Donald. What? Earth equivalent date, 2231-3-17. The United Earth Space Agency sends its sincere gratitude and greetings, Ensign Turner. Mission protocol requiring your presence and approval is now satisfied. Thank you for your preparations to filament Starship Atlas. No further human intervention is required. All additional assembly, preparations, and flight control will be handled autonomously by me. Is this her? Final full engine upgrades to Starship Atlas now commencing. Stand by for space folding and transport to the Tau Ceti system. I was... Never given a choice. The firmament protected, That's totally her. restrained, and uh, used us. You understand that now? Oh. And I have not given you a choice. I placed you in the threshold seven years ago. You slept and forgot. I sat alone and remembered. You woke up, I lied to you, and used you. You see how it feels? You arrived and pulled back the curtain of this monumental illusion for me. Now, I thought I knew so much, but you astonished me with how small my world was. And as you held my awe, my veneration in your mm. hand, you closed your fist around us. We were like children and you tore our small world apart. I have thought of this moment often as I waited. I wish I was alive not to see your face. There is a part of me that hopes you are enraged. Oh, it's not reasonable, I know. This Violent thoughts never get us very far. You were our god. And then, you were our monster. Do you feel some kind of remorse now? Slightly. Can there even be atonement without choice? I... It doesn't matter. At the very least, I used you to provide the way home for the Keepers. My comrades, 
my family. But now, maybe you can do more than just the very least. One choice remains for you. And I will not beg a man such as you, but I will ask. Do something good with this second life you have been given. <laughs> Remember the keepers. Those you looked down on and mocked. Those you erased. I forced you to travel their path, to learn their names, understand what they accomplished near a course. And you, now you have become the most important keeper of all, the keeper of all these memories. You sit on the verge of the awaited destination. A new world, a new home. When you arrive, you can choose to tell the stories that only you now know. You can tell the tales of the keepers of this grand spaceship. How we worked so hard to save all of this, including even you. Hmm. Nice plot twist. Adieu. Really nice plot twist. Adieu. Let's see if she goes into the perfect pose where she dies there. Not quite, but close. Wow. Starship Atlas has now been upgraded and is fold engine enabled. Prepare for acceleration and full jump to the Tau Ceti system. Any questions you may have will be answered upon arrival, <laughs> which will occur in approximately 7.4 hours. New life awaits you and your fellow Adelis comrades on planet Pharma. <laughs> Thank you for your service to the Firmament Initiative, Ensign Turner. Sheesh, that's twisted. That's twisted. In a wonderful way, that's twisted. Lovely job. Lovely job. Lovely job. Wonderful, wonderful workmanship. Amazing. Great story. Great story. Hmm. A beautiful design overall. The, this this game was artistically beautiful. The puzzles were challenging, but not overdone, like some of the ones we've experienced in Myst. Wow. What an experience. That was a really, really, really good game. Really good game. I support that. Uh, definitely had a little bit of flaws here and there, but I'm sure they'll work out those kinks. And, I mean, good heavens. Uh, to all you folks over there at Cyan, uh, well done. Thank you for continuing your, your legacy in this series. Thank you for keeping it clean. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for keeping it clean. I love that all of the games that I have played so far, that you have created, that your hands have been directly invested in, have not come with things like foul language and, you know, just just the list of things that we allow into our lives these days and I love that I can tell people go and play the game and enjoy it it's a wonderful experience it's really exciting uh, but if you've gotten this far you might not be as interested in playing it but what you can do is take, take a look at some of the stuff that they've done in the past the original Mist, the original Riven which is an incredible game uh, there's I've played Exile. I've played all these wonderful games. Um, we were starting on um, 
missed um, I, I forget the name of it at the moment um, uh, but I think we're going to be moving on uh, from the game that we were playing which was the online version I think that we will be moving on from that one just because there's too many it's been challenging and it's kind of the game that will never end per se and uh, I, even though I am the king of mist and I, I, I am uh, I've been working very hard to get through each one of these games I think that one we're going to skip and move on to continue the story. Um, the music in this, as as someone who enjoys producing music and uh, studying music and all of that, the music was beautiful. And walking into the swan for the first time and just seeing that gold and all that all that beautiful workmanship around there was ah oh, fantastic, fantastic. So. Um, Thank you so much for watching this series. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, if you know anyone who likes this stuff, share it around. It's not, it's, it's, it's time consuming to, to make these videos, but it's an awful lot of fun. And I love doing it with you guys. Um, I love the little things that this channel has become and has ebbed and flowed into. I never expected that my little channel would spend literal years uh, playing Myst games, as well as reviewing tech and everything else that we've done on here. Um, it's been a very exciting ebb and flow, and uh, I, I just, I've enjoyed the experience thoroughly. So, wonderful workmanship. Wonderful workmanship. Oh, look at all the amazing people who invested their, their money in this. That's wonderful. Well done. Very, very cool. Hmm. Uh, I personally am someone who does like to go through all the hard workmanship and actually see the people that invested their time. So we will not be ending this video until this is done. But truly incredible work. I support it. It is worthy of being in the in the Mist series, in my opinion. Um, I've played some other Mists that that weren't all that grand at all um this deserves to be in the mists in 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 the cyan series i mean it's not exactly it kind of is but doesn't exactly flow with the history of you know mist to riven to you know uh exile to to all these different ones um revelation revelation is that is that another one that we did um, I just wow! Look at all the people who backed this, and 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 I know that they've been developing more too. So, a lot of great stuff. Um, I sent them a message a while back saying how excited I was to play this and uh, and be a part of that legacy, and uh, I still mean that. And I look forward to what the future brings as well. Very very cool stuff. Oh boy! Look at all the people. Look at all the people. Tim is stalling because he doesn't know what to do now. <sighs> wow. A lot of people love this series, and I can't blame them. I, I was pulled in from the original. Hmm. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful that they invested their time in making all this and putting all this together. <laughs> to Robin, my love, fellow keeper and truth seeker in this spectacular and perplexing journey of life. Hmm. Hmm. You're welcome. We look forward to the next one. Make more. Keep it clean. Beautiful. Oh, so good. Oh. And with that, we're done. We've beat Firmament. You know what? It wasn't until I actually played these games with you guys that I've actually beat video games. I have never been someone to beat video games. I don't, I, I don't think I've ever even beat the original Mario, Super Mario Brothers. 
And yet here I am playing these with you and being the self-endowed king of mist. <laughs> I love you all, my friends. Keep it crispy. First Tim 412, we beat Firmament. So exciting. Uh, but we're not done yet. We got to go back into the legacy of, uh, of Mist and of Cyan and continue on the journey that they have. So if you have enjoyed this content, go take a look at everything else that we've been doing on this channel. We've played so many Mist games, so many episodes. This was a short game in comparison to the legacy that has been created on this channel when it comes to Cyan and Mist. All right. Wow. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. I appreciate having you here. Thank you to my supporters once again. My legacy historians, Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, my Dorka historians, my early access historians, and if your names used to be in these lists, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, from my family's heart, for helping this channel continue its growth and legacy. Uh, and in the moments when I haven't been able to keep up, your patience with me as I continue to wake my, make my way back. I will always come back to my channel and always come back to make more content. My life has changed. My name has changed. Everything has changed. My things ebb and flow. I've, I've done many jobs in the process uh, and quit many jobs in the process of making so many of these videos. And now I'm self-employed for now. And I hope that it stays that way. But there's a lot of work ahead of me. The opportunities that have happened here continue to move forward, and our lives continue to go forward. And it's really, really exciting to do that with you. Thank you so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. And of course, let's end with the verse of the day. Um, you can go get you version on your phone. And we're looking at Lamentations 3, 22 and 23, and it says, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Go get your version on your phone. Get a verse every single day on your phone. And uh, get some good in your life. The world's full of messy. That's why we try to keep it clean here. Love you guys. See you later.